Chapter 1341, Trouble, 5, Shui Mia's complexion turned white for a while because of what Shen Yang Xiao had said. He absolutely never thought that this elf could make him lose face without saying any dirty words. Sharp mouth. But even if you are so clever and eloquent, you can't change your fate today. Shui Miao angrily opened his mouth. He did not come here to accompany such an insolent little devil in a glib talk. Yang Xiao, you killed my brother, Shui Ling, a member of a highest ranking tribe, do you admit it? Shen Yang Xiao shrugged her shoulders. Young man, restrain your grief and accept fate. I know that you brothers have a good relationship but your dead brother can't just drag me along and convict me with a crime for no reason at all. If I had really killed Shui Ling, then the generals of the advanced training camp would have already removed my head long ago. Why do you think it's still intact? Shui Miao snorted coldly and said, don't think that I don't know that you are a member of the Moonlight Tribe. Elder Yue is an elf of the Moonlight Tribe. Who knows if you have blinded Elder Yue's eyes? Letting the other generals favor you to give Elder Yue face. You can fool other elves, but you can't fool me. Shui Ling's body has always been very good. If it wasn't for your actions, how could he possibly he die? Shui Miao did not believe Shen Yang Xiao's words at all. In his view, Shen Yang Xiao was a Moonlight Tribe elf and everyone knew that the elders of the Moonlight Tribe had always liked children. Since Shen Yang Xiao had joined the Moonlight Tribe, it was inevitable that Elder Yui would protect her due to her age. Shen Yang Xiao chuckled. All the elves of the Kini Yuan tribe really had the same temper. When An Ran told Shui Ling about the cultivation method that time, Shui Ling also had this face of distrust. Now it was his elder brother, Shui Miao, but it was still the same revolting behavior. Both she and An Ran clearly told the truth. Whether you believe it or not is up to you. However, so what if you really think I did it? Listen here, Shui Ling was hurt when we were exchanging blows. Even if he died at that time because of me, that would still also be allowed by the advanced training camp. At most, I am too heavy handed, but it was still not enough to make you come and complain of an injustice. Shen Yang Xiao was not a bit polite with Shui Miao. Since he believed that she did it, then so be it. Shui Ling was injured during their formal exchanging of blows which was permitted in the advanced training camp. Even if Shui Ling died of injury during that official match, no one could take this matter to accuse Shen Yang Xiao. If you want to blame someone, blame your brother for being too weak that a small arrow can take away his life. Such an elf still wants to enter the Sylvan Moon Guards. With this kind of delicate body, he should just be kept at home. It won't be good for him to be blown by the wind and burned by the sun. Shen Yang Xiao really disliked this kind of unreasonable fellow. As such, she was generally extremely blunt with her cutting remarks. Could he compete with her poisonous tongue? Apart from that prophet here Cixia, who was far away in the rising sun city, Shen Yang Xiao could really not find another being that could compete with her in this aspect. In Shen Yang Xiao's eyes. Shui Miao's sputter was at the level of a kindergarten brat. Believe it or not, she could use her mouth alone to make this self-righteous self vomit a lot of blood. Stinking girl. You killed Shui Ling and still insult him. Shui Miao had really gone mad. He really had never seen such a brazen elf before. A series of curses without dirty words. Shui Miao nearly vomited blood in rage. She actually said that Shui Ling was too weak and should just be kept at home. Did she think Shui Ling was a canary? The complexions of the Kinyu and tribe elves were uglier than ever. They could not wait to rush and eat Shen Yang Xiao. Chapter 1342, Trouble, 6 As soon as Enran arrived, he heard Shen Yang Xiao's bombardment of words in rapid succession and felt stupefied for a moment. In the advanced training camp, Shen Yang Xiao was usually so quiet that she basically did not utter a single word. This would be An Ran's first time seeing her poisonous tongue. He feared that in the entire Moon God continent, one would not find another elf who could contend with her in such a skill. The elves of the Kinyuan tribe were all unhappy. On the other hand, the elves of the Moonshine tribe felt extremely cheerful. It must be known that ever since the Moonshine tribe was demoted, this Kinyuan tribe, their old rival, did not give them any less trouble. An Yan had always made them endure for the bigger picture, 
and the Moonshine tribe elves had long been suffocating due to their burning anger. Now that they saw Shen Yangtze outshied them so sharply and smoothly, they were really itching to applaud and cheer her on. You said Shui Ling was killed by Shen Yangtze Ow? If that was so, wasn't the body of your family's young master Shui Ling too weak? He was actually killed by a single arrow on his shoulder shot by a little girl, and Ran was also shot by Shui Ling in the same way. But how could he still be alive? Wasn't that just because your family's genes were no good? Because of Anyan's presence. The elves of the Moonshine tribe did not dare to show too much delight, but the little expression of smugness leaking from within their eyes was as clear as daylight. Tsitsi, this is not your moon god continent, can you chase me away because of what I said? Shen Yang Xiao laughed very shamelessly. Since you are so sincere like this, I naturally could not let you down. Want to embarrass her? You have to weigh your own ability first. Shui Miao was so angry at Shen Yang Xiao that his handsome and white face turned the same color as a pig's liver. One nature of the elves was that they had a poor vocabulary. Mo Yu's rich words were entirely the result of mutation. Pitting an elf who was not good with words against Shen Yang Xiao, the progenitor of humiliating others without using dirty words was simply like striking a stone with an egg. Yang Xiao, enough of you. Since you said that it was only an accident when you and Shui Ling were exchanging blows to compare notes, then, very well, I challenge you right now. If you acknowledge yourself as a Moonlight Tribe Elf and don't want to discredit the name of the Hero Tribe, then just shut your mouth and fight with me in a straightforward manner. If you lose, immediately take off the badge of the Sylvan Moon Guards on your chest. Go to the Moonlight Coast and stay there until you are old. If I lose, then I will be the one going. Shui Miao was utterly angered by Shen Yang Xiao. Whether it was the death of Shui Ling or Shen Yang Xiao's glib tongue, he couldn't wait to tear her apart. Leave the Silver Moon Guards and go to the Moonlight Coast? And Ran exclaimed, only the elves whose achievements were only within the primary training camps would be assigned to the Moonlight Coast. Shen Yang Xiao had already undoubtedly passed the selection exam of the Silver Moon Guards, but Shui Miao had to take this up to wager. One was the Moonshine City, the closest place to the Tree of Life in the entire Moon God continent and the other was the seaside on the edge of the moon god continent. Not to mention the disparity between silver moon guards and a coastal guard, just the difference in distance from the tree of life between the two was already hard for people to accept. If Shen Yang Xiao really went to the moonlight coast, then she would be done for in her life. The elves from the training camps, who were distributed to all places, were required to work forever in the locations they had been assigned and it was impossible for them to rise one more time. They could only request a transfer to another lower level post, and could no longer climb up to a superior one ever again. Shui Miao's bet was very ruthless. In this match between him and Shen Yang Xiao, one was bound to disappear from the radiant and lofty Sylvan Moon Guards and always stay by the sea where the power of the Tree of Life was thin. This would be a matter that would decide their future for countless days and nights. Chapter 1343, Trouble, 7, Shui Miao, you are insane, and Ran looked incredulously at Shui Miao, Shui Miao wanted to push Shen Yang Xiao to her death, ah, Shui Miao sneered at Shen Yang Xiao, do you dare to accept, Yang Xiao, do you dare to display the courage of a moonlight tribe elf and accept my challenge, or will you admit that you are not worthy of being called a member of the moonlight tribe and not worthy of entering the silver moon guards, is it that you are just a coward and can only rely on hideous means to kill Shui Ling, so you dare not accept my challenge, Shui Miao, don't go too far, if you want to compete, then I will compete with you. And Ran could no longer resist the irritation in his heart and impressively stood in front of Shen Yang Xiao. And Ran, I know that a coward like you, who wants to get rid of the humiliation of your tribe through the Sylvan Moon Guards, had been taken care of by Shui Ling when you were in the advanced training camp. What? You were so timid even in front of my brother, yet you actually have the nerve to fight against me? Shui Miao disdainfully looked at and ran. He already knew everything that happened in the advanced training camp. He did not feel at all that there was anything wrong with his younger brother seeking trouble for the Moonshine tribe. Traitors like him should not have been there in the first place. Shen Yang Xiao narrowed her eyes and reached out to pull and ran behind her, holding her head high. 
She stood in front of Shui Miao. I accept your challenge, Yang Xiao, and Ran nervously grabbed Shen Yang Xiao's shoulder. Shui Miao was not Shui Ling. Although they were brothers, Shui Miao's talent far exceeded Shui Ling's. Otherwise, he would not have passed the selection exam of the Sylvan Moon Guards so early. The large part of the reason why the Kinyuan tribe had become more and more prestigious in recent years was the superior performance of Shui Miao in the Sylvan Moon Guards. All the elves knew that within the Sylvan Moon Guards, Shui Miao of the Kinyuan tribe had a strength that was second only to the chief commander and the five young Sylvan Moon. What was more, Shui Miao had already been cultivating in Moonshine City for many years. Just how rich and pure was the life force inside the Moonshine City? The speed of improvement of his source of life was not something they could compare with. Meanwhile, Shen Yang Xiao had just passed the selection exam of the Sylvan Moon Guards. Even if she had been cultivating in seclusion for five months in the Pure Spirit Tower, it was still not enough for her to be the opponent of Shui Miao, who had been cultivating in Moonshine City for several years. The accumulation of the source of life of the two people could not be brought closer in just a few months. And Ran knew that Shen Yang Xiao was very strong, but the strength of the elves was based on the growth of their source of life. Moreover, their actual combat experience was also a big issue. Shen Yang Xiao's time in the advanced training camp was mostly consumed inside the pure spirit tower, so how could her actual combat experience compare to Shui Miao? Yang Xiao, you don't have to force yourself into this. I know that you only fought with Shui Ling at that time for Enran's sake. The root cause of this matter was an elf of our moonshine tribe. We can handle this matter by ourselves. And Yan finally spoke. There was not a trace of a ripple on her calm face, but within her words, she was clearly against this unfair match between Shen Yang Xiao and Shui Miao. Shen Yang Xiao was still young. Shui Miao had gone through many more years than she had. Shui Miao was not Shui Ling. He was a steel knife trained by the Sylvan Moon Guards in the Moonshine City. With just a little carelessness, Shen Yang Xiao could completely be filled with cuts and bruises all over. Shen Yang Xiao's future should not be determined at this time. She should not stay at a remote place like the Moonlight Coast. Her road was still very long. She should not take risks at this time. Chapter 1344, Trouble, 8. Leader and Yan truly has the courage to take the blame for what one does. Shui Miao looked at Yan without any trace of respect but with some derision instead. Is it because this little girl is a moonlight tribe elf, therefore you are hoping that the elves of your tribe will win the favor of the seniors of the moonlight tribe? Shui Miao's words were really quite unpleasant to hear, and Yan's countenance did not change in the slightest, as if any mockery were not enough to shatter her long-standing self-cultivation and self-restraint. However, the rest of the Moonshine Tribe Elves were all indignant after Shui Miao ridiculed their Moonshine Tribe over and over again. They did not have such good self-cultivation like an Yan. One by one, their eyes turned red from anger, wishing they could immediately cut this big bastard Shui Miao, who only spouted nonsense, into eight pieces. Shui Miao, you better take back what you just said, don't make a spectacle of yourself. Now that I have agreed to your challenge. There is no reason to target other elves. Leader and Yan is just afraid that you will be defeated by an elf who hasn't fully grown yet and lose face. She's merely looking for a way out of such an embarrassing situation for you. You do really have your nose in the air. Shen Yang Xiao's eyes were narrowed as it stared fixedly at Shui Miao, a trace of killing intent flashing through them. You dare to insult her grandmother in front of her? You were courting death. Shui Miao ground his teeth. Knowing that he could not beat Shen Yang Xiao with words, he simply said, Good, you really have some courage. The time and place is up to you. Shen Yang Xiao was also too lazy to talk nonsense with him. Let's do it today. The place is even simpler. I will ask the Jadeite City Lord, Dun Yuan, to lend me the Jadeite City's battle arena for a day. If you have the guts, come with me. If you are not courageous enough, you can run away at any time, Shui Miao said in a cold voice. Upon hearing Shui Miao's arrangement of place, the elves of the Moonshine tribe instantly knew that Shui Miao had bad intentions. In every city, 
there would be a battle arena where elves could exchange blows. It was provided to those elves who wanted to settle certain conflicts through fighting. Every battle arena would attract a large number of elves in the city to watch. Shui Miao arranged this place for their match because he wanted to let more elves see the picture of him beating Shen Yang Xiao one-sidedly in order to satisfy his revenge. Good. Shen Yang Xiao agreed without hesitation. Shui Miao turned and left with satisfaction. He was not worried at all that Shen Yang Xiao would escape. Just now, Shen Yang Xiao repeatedly protected the Moonshine tribe. If Shen Yang Xiao dared to run, he would not let the Moonshine tribe off. Then, Shen Yang Xiao would also sooner or later enter the Silver Moon Guards, and he would have plenty of ways to deal with her. Shen Yang Xiao immediately followed suit. Shen Jing, who had been watching the show on the sidelines, immediately ran to Shen Yang Xiao and said with a voice only the two of them could hear, Little girl, do you have the confidence that Shui Miao's words were really too detrimental? Forget that he had provoked Shen Yang Xiao, but he even ridiculed her maternal family in front of her. Was this not looking for a beating? However, Shen Jing was also not very familiar with the current strength of Shen Yang Xiao, so he still wanted to make sure. After all, if Shen Yang Xiao could not enter the Moonshine City, then the follow-up plan to search for Wen Yan Shen Yu could only rely on Du An Zhu. I don't know. Shen Yang Xiao's answer was very honest. Shen Jing almost choked to death. This little lass truly had too much courage. She actually dared to fight without full assurance. In any case, I haven't lost an unusual match so far. Third uncle, you can rest assured, I will definitely go to Moonshine City to find my parents. Shen Yang Xiao was aware of what Shen Jing was worried about, but she really didn't think anything of this. From her rebirth to the present, she had already experienced countless battles but had not tasted defeat even once. Chapter 1345 Battle Arena 1 In the past, Shen Yang Xiao had never lost. Now, Shen Yang Xiao would also not lose. Even if the future was unclear, Shen Yang Xiao would never allow herself to be defeated. Lose once and she would pay an unbearable price. So in Shen Yang Xiao's heart, she would never let herself fail. Then, do as you see fit. Shen Jing sighed. He did not know just who in the end had the same temperament as Shen Yang Xiao. Shen Yu was a wise and intelligent young master while Wen Ya was a hard to come by gentle and virtuous lady. Aside from her appearance, Shen Yang Xiao did not inherit much else from Shen Yu and Wen Ya. That kind of decisiveness, that kind of fierceness, were things that Shen Jing had never seen in his younger brother nor sister-in-law. How could Shen Jing possibly know that the present Shen Yang Xiao standing before his eyes was already a different soul, and only her empty shell of a body remained original? If she were to be replaced by the former Shen Yang Xiao, it was reckoned that even if her mind had recovered, she would also have inherited the pure and good nature of her parents. Like this, not to mention whether she could mix into the rising sun city. It was feared that she would already have followed the footsteps of her parents in the disaster previously brought by Shen Duan. Although Shen Yang Xiao's soul came from the modern times, she had already seen herself as a member of the Million Bird Clan, whether it was Shen Feng, Shen Ling, Shen Jing, Shen Yu, Wen Ya, or Nian, for her. They were all the family that she cherished very much. She would protect them at all costs and would not let anyone harm them. She was once a worldly orphan, and she should value this hard-to-come-by affection of a family. Among the Moonshine tribe elves, only Nran and Feng followed to see the match. The other elves remained in the tribe with Yan. When they arrived at the city lord residence, Du An Yu An was quite surprised. Wondering why did Shui Miao come over? It was not until Shui Miao uttered the reason for his arrival that Du An Yu An saw Shen Yang Xiao, who was following behind, and then understood what was going on. You can use the arena, but Shui Miao, where it is possible to let people off, one should spare them. Du An Yu An had a good impression of Shen Yang Xiao. 
he really did not want to see Shen Yang Xiao defeated by Shui Miao's hands and be thrown to the moonlight coast. Shui Miao just smiled and did not reply. One could see from his eyes that he was already determined to settle this matter with Shen Yang Xiao. The million bird was still in the moonshine tribe as Shen Yang Xiao did not let him follow. The battle arena of Jadeite City was large enough for Shen Yang Xiao and Shui Miao to show off their skills. After getting wind of the news that there would be a fight in the arena, a lot of elves in the Jadeite city came over to watch. But when they saw the two figures standing above the platform, they were stunned. Those two are from the Sylvan Moon Guards. Why are they going to fight? The onlookers saw the badges of the Sylvan Moon Guards, which were hanging in front of Shen Yang Xiao's and Shui Miao's chests. And they were having difficulty to understand why these two elves had come here to fight. Didn't they say that the Sylvan Moon Guards had always been very harmonious? Is that little girl really a member of Sylvan Moon Guards? Some elves looked at Shen Yang Xiao in astonishment. If a match between two members of the Sylvan Moon Guards was still not enough to shock them, then the fact that Shen Yang Xiao was already wearing the badge of the Sylvan Moon Guards despite being just a little fellow was really inconceivable to the lot of them. Everyone knew that the Sylvan Moon Guards was the sharpest troops of the Moon God continent. Simply picking someone from within, you did not have to pick one out of ten people. Picking one out of five was no problem. Everyone could also imagine even with their toes the difficulty of entering the Sylvan Moon Guards. However, this young fellow, who had not yet reached adulthood, had successfully won the badge of the Sylvan Moon Guards, which was really difficult for them to accept. Chapter 1346 Battle Arena 2 This undoubtedly made a group of adult elves like them feel like wastes. But this little fellow was unexpectedly trying to fight with an adult elf. If Shen Yang Xiao was not crazy, then it was they who were crazy. The battle arena was surrounded by spectating elves. In truth, the elf was a race that was not too fond of commotions, however, the two individuals above the arena were truly a pair of strange flowers. One big and one small, and they were also both members of the Sylvan Moon Guards. Even the calmest elf would want to see the result of this battle. Du An Zhu silently departed when Shen Yang Xiao and others left. No one discovered her when she returned to the City Lord residence, but as she passed through the lounge, she saw Du An Yu An sitting there with a gloomy face. Father, Du An Zhu called out with a soft voice. Little Zhu, do you remember that Yang Xiao? Du An Yu An asked. Du An Zhu nodded. AI, I don't know what happened between her and Shui Miao that they actually want to go up in the arena. You may not know but that Shui Miao is a top notch member of the Sylvan Moon Guards. Yang Xiao, on the other hand, has just passed the selection exam. It really makes me feel anxious for her. Du An Yu An was a bit distressed. Although he did not know the wager between Shen Yang Xiao and Shui Miao, he did not want to see the clever and considerate little fellow like Shen Yang Xiao being beaten by Shui Miao. Du An Zhu did not speak and just sat down quietly next to Du An Yu An. Above the battle arena, Shui Miao looked at Shen Yang Xiao, who was standing opposite him with a smile on his face. When you compared notes with Shui Ling at that time, it was through archery. So today, we are also using archery. Shui Miao sneeringly said, he would not kill Shen Yang Xiao, he would only let her feel the pain that his younger brother had felt that time. He would let her live. Staying on the moonlight coast forever would be her biggest punishment. Without future, without hope, she would stay in such a barren coastal area with only a thin life force until she died from old age. To destroy the future of Shen Yang Xiao was what Shui Miao desired. All right. Shen Yang Xiao shrugged her shoulders. She had no reason to refuse. She did not know much about Shui Miao's strength, but since he could enter the Sylvan Moon Guards, his strength must not be simple. Although Shen Yang Xiao appeared very relaxed on the surface, if one were to examine her closely, they would see that she had already begun to take precautions. She did not want to lose. This wasn't just a mentality, rather she wanted it to be a fact. Underestimating the enemy was always a great taboo for soldiers. Shen Yang Xiao took out the golden longbow which Lan Si had given her from her storage ring. The reason why she chose Lan Si's bow as her weapon was because of the Purple Baron. This bow was called Golden Flames. The Purple Baron was made by Lan Si. 
Therefore Shen Yang Xiao would be more familiar with the bows created by Lan Si. Every fridgeman had their own habit of creating weapons. When Shui Miao saw the golden flames in the hands of Shen Yang Xiao, his eyes slightly narrowed. With his vision, it was not difficult to see that the bow in Shen Yang Xiao's hands wasn't just anything. No matter in which city in Moon God continent it might be placed, it would easily be the best bow. Thinking of the fact that Shen Yang Xiao was now a member of the Moonlight tribe, Shui Miao sneered. This little girl was just lucky that she was favored by Elder Yui. Otherwise, with her strength, she was not worthy of entering the Moonlight tribe. Not to mention the gifts of the several Grand Masters of the Moonlight tribe, which was not what she was supposed to have. Shui Miao immediately took out his bow. Shui Miao's bow was also a golden bow. Only, Unlike the simple and plain bow in Shen Yang Xiao's hands, the bow of Shui Miao was inlaid with dazzling green gems. Chapter 1347, Battle Arena, 3 The two bows had the same color, and the workmanship of each was spectacular enough to attract the attention of all the spectating elves. Not one of the fridgemen that had made these two bows was below the Grand Master level. Shen Yang Xiao held up the bow her other hand resting on the quiver hanging around her waist. She carefully observed the entire platform, without missing a single corner nor a single slab. This battle arena was large enough for archers to compete. Shen Yang Xiao needed to calculate the accuracy of each of her steps in order to bring the victory closer to her side. Both Anran and Shen Jing, who were under the arena, broke out into a cold sweat for Shen Yang Xiao. An exchange of blows between archers was often more dangerous than it was for other professions. The outcome of this battle would depend on whether or not their arrow would hit their target. Once hit by the arrow, they would inevitably sustain injuries. Shui Miao looked at Shen Yang Xiao with a confident smile in his eyes. He did not believe that such a little elf would be his opponent. Among the elites gathered within the Silver Moon Guards, Besides the chief commander and the five young Silv Moon who could pressure him, the other members were simply not his opponent. He had absolute confidence that he could play around with Shen Yang Xiao for a bit and then avenge his brother. Shui Miao's eyes slanted slightly before he immediately took an arrow and pulled the bow open. Shen Yang Xiao almost responded at the same time and immediately pulled out an arrow. Shui Miao's first arrow was released, splitting the empty air and its lightning-like speed quickly dazzled the elves around. Whether it was the speed or strength, Shui Miao was the most powerful archer that Shen Yang Xiao had ever seen. The strength of his arrow was definitely not less than that of a great magic archer. As long as Shen Yang Xiao was hit by this arrow, she would fly together with it out of the ring without a doubt. Shen Yang Xiao immediately flashed to the left hand, at the same time, shot an arrow. Instead of standing still and directly shooting against Shui Miao, she put an arrow on the string and shot while in the process of dodging. During that split second of dodging, Shen Yang Xiao's body was half tilted, but she was actually still able to hold her bow steadily and shoot an arrow in such a state. Before her figure stabilized, the feathered arrow in her hand had already flown away carrying a silvery light toward Shui Miao. The two arrows shot by the two individuals were not able to successfully hurt their targets. The two swift arrows flew over the arena and continued advancing into distant places, disappearing directly from the sight of all the elves. The speed was so fast that the elves could not react. Such speed and such power really made the elves under the arena who had witnessed such a spectacle flabbergasted. They really deserve to be elves of the Sylvan Moon Guards. A crowd of elves subconsciously swallowed their saliva. The fierce battle was not over yet, it was just beginning. Shen Yang Xiao and Shui Miao released their second arrow almost at the same time, and just like the previous time, Shen Yang Xiao attacked while in the process of dodging. Her attack was a moment later than that of Shui Miao. Like this, Shen Yang Xiao directly fell into a disadvantageous position, while Shui Miao could have more time to answer Shen Yang Xiao's arrow. All the elves felt that Shen Yang Xiao was not the opponent of Shui Miao. The battle between archers was more of a battle of agility. Shen Yang Xiao was obviously not as swift as Shui Miao. If she kept going on like this, she would only be led by the nose by Shui Miao. That little elf is still too tender. Although the crowd of elves watching the fight acknowledged Shen Yang Xiao's strength, her opponent was simply stronger. A fraction difference could determine the victory or defeat. Almost no elf believed that Shen Yang Xiao would win this battle. Even Anran was the same. 
he had long broken out into a cold sweat for Shen Yang Xiao, Chapter 1348, Battle Arena, 4. Only one person was not feeling worried about Shen Yang Xiao. He was the only human being in the entire Jadeite city, Shen Jing. He was looking at Shen Yang Xiao on the platform with a smile on his face. He didn't see Shen Yang Xiao having even a little frustration nor tension. She had that calm as water appearance. Wasn't it exactly because she had a strategy? Shen Jing didn't know about Shen Yang Xiao's current strength in the end, but he believed that a battle in which Shen Yang Xiao could remain so calm was definitely not as one sided as the elves thought. All the elves thought that Shen Yang Xiao would soon be overwhelmed by Xu Yi Miao because of his advantage in speed. However, the two sides had already shot each other with over ten arrows, and although Xu Yi Miao had easily escaped Shen Yang Xiao's attacks, he had also failed to touch even half a hair on Shen Yang Xiao. If there truly were such a fractional difference, could she truly have lasted for so long? Xu Yi Miao did not think this was the case. But since Shen Yang Xiao was holding up under his attack, he was totally fine with letting her continue doing so for a while longer. Watching her as she dodged, every move brimming with aggression, Xu Yi Miao was quite enjoying the sight of her looking so pitiful. In that sort of situation, the arrow shot by Shen Yang Xiao could be easily evaded by Xu Yi Miao. One side was Shen Yang Xiao who wanted to dodge the oncoming attacks and squeeze out time to counterattack. Another side was Xu Yi Miao who easily escaped the opponent's arrows after calmly attacking. From how the way things were happening above the arena, anyone would feel that Xu Yi Miao was more than enough to deal with Shen Yang Xiao, and it was Shen Yang Xiao who was too occupied looking after herself as several times she was surrounded by perils. Such a high and low, strong and weak confrontation continued. Although Shen Yang Xiao appeared to be a little hasty in dodging and attacking, her small face did not look a tad bit discomforted, and instead she looked calm and relaxed. Xu Yi Miao's archery was very outstanding, and he could obtain achievements in the Silver Moon Guards, so he could not just be a pillar with an embroidered case one. On archery alone, do not mention that Shen Yang Xiao could not compare with him, even Li Xiao Ai, who specialized in the archer profession, must also be slightly inferior. The reasons for this was his source of life, as well as the innate talent of the elves themselves. Although Shen Yang Xiao was already an elf, she still had not brought her control of life force to the point of perfection. She was only a rookie who had just become an elf for half a year, her opponent, on the other hand, was an expert who had mastered all the skills of the elves since birth. Shen Yang Xiao narrowed her eyes and let the tide of the battle rage on. Countless feather arrows flew from the ring in all directions as the two people continued to shoot without any pause. The elves had already been unable to count how many arrows had been fired. But they were all very clear that if they were in these two people's shoes, they probably would no longer even have the strength to pull the bowstring. Every attack, every shot of an arrow, required an arm with tremendous strength to rely on. The bow was not a sword, it was not a staff, it had a bowstring that needed to be pulled. If one wanted to shoot an extremely powerful arrow, they must pull the tight bowstring to the limit. Even if one were born with the talent of an archer, to maintain the highest intensity of shooting, one could only lose 20 consecutive shots. After the 20th shot, both the strength and speed would decline. However, whether considering Shen Yang Xiao or Xu Yi Miao, each had fired no less than 30 shots, and yet, their strength and speed had not fallen at all. They are this is just too insane. The elves watching from below the platform were all dumbstruck. Even the seemingly disadvantaged Shen Yang Xiao made them feel extremely astonished. A little elf with such stamina and arm strength this was simply hard to imagine. One, looks good on the outside, but no actual talent. Chapter 1350, Counter-Attack in Desperate Situation, 1. The battle between Shen Yang Xiao and Xu Yi Miao continued until it had already reached the climax. No matter who won or lost, this battle had already made the crowd of elves feast their eyes on something spectacular. Even the loser would not become a weakling in the eyes of these elves, because either side above the arena was several times stronger than them. They would be the object of their pursuit in their lifetime. Xu Yi Miao was like a beast that was merely toying with his prey. Each of his arrows was pushing Shen Yang Xiao to a dead end. He actually did not find such a cat and mouse game boring. On the contrary, 
If he only hit and finished Shen Yang Xiao with a single shot, he would feel that it was not enough to vent his anger. The process of tormenting her was what he truly enjoyed, turning a rising rookie into a piece of mud under his own beatings, letting Shen Yang Xiao taste the feeling of falling from heaven to hell was a very wonderful enjoyment for Shui Miao. The death of Shui Ling could not be compensated for by Shen Yang Xiao leaving the Sylvan Moon Guards alone. He wanted to erase her spirits bit by bit, peel off her self-esteem and pride layer by layer, trample her under his feet like a puddle of mud, and let her be banished to the distant moonlight coast, so that she would always remember this battle that had destroyed her life forever. Shui Miao's thoughts during this battle made his soul fall into a black hole little by little. The pleasure of revenge made his eyes full of excitement, but he did not notice that a black mark was constantly spreading behind his neck and extending toward his brain. Shen Yang Xiao had been constantly evading Shui Miao's attacks and continuing her limited counterattack. Compared with the operation of Shui Miao, her ability to escape dangers made the elves unceasingly praise her more. Being powerful was an overwhelming advantage. But confronting such an advantage, Chen Yang Xiao could exert the potential of her whole body to the maximum, and kept on fighting with Shui Miao up to the present, which seriously made the elves under the platform exclaim endlessly in admiration. The valiantness of an adult elf would make the elves feel respectful but the power of this little elf was enough to make the elves stunned. It was because Shen Yang Xiao's future years were still very long, in the years to come, no one knew how strong she would become. This kind of growth that the elves were incapable of foreseeing was the most terrible one. Almost subconsciously, the hearts of the elves were hanging in the air due to Shen Yang Xiao's situation. They did not want Shen Yang Xiao to fall in such a battle. They still expected, expected her to keep going forward and see how far she could grow. Would she become another legend of the moon god continent? Shui Miao continued to maintain an intensive attack. The way he saw things, Shen Yang Xiao had already been overwhelmed by him and completely lacked the strength to retaliate. It would not be long before the battle ended in his victory. Shen Yang Xiao narrowed her eyes, looking at Shui Miao who was full of confidence, and her eyes flashed a trace of a nasty smile. Just as Shui Miao pulled the bowstring again and prepared to attack, Shen Yang Xiao did not take any evasive action. Instead, she stood still and pulled the bowstring at the same time and shot a strong and powerful arrow toward Shui Miao. At this moment, there was a trace of shock and surprise in Shui Miao's eyes. When one got used to his opponent's countless evasions and displacements, his attack would subconsciously aim at the direction she was about to dodge, rather than where she was currently at. And Shui Miao, who was already accustomed with his design of shooting to her place of evasion, did not expect at all that Shen Yang Xiao would completely change her attack path on his 101st arrow. 